Hey guys, Nick Showman, Showtime Strength. Today we're going to talk about some bench builders. All right, one of the most important things um, in the bench press is the triceps. All right, and it's not you know the tricep up here. It's really down here by the elbow, and the reason is when you get going here, what do you think's locking out that press? All right, you have to keep being able to apply force, pushing through that weight, extending the arm, which is flex flexing the tricep. So we're just gonna give you some exercises. I think there will be 12 of them. Just using different implements. I know, you know everyone's gym situation is a little bit different. Uh, those of you that train in a public gym um, might have to adjust things you know, in your plan based on what's available. You know, not everyone's training in a private facility or a home gym that they equip, so. All right, so we'll just make three basic categories, dumbbells, uh, barbells, and body weight exercises. So dumbbells, uh, dumbbell rollbacks, and all that is is where you're on a bench. You can do an incline, flat bench, um, on the ground is probably my favorite, and just roll them back up all the way to where they're right back by your ear, and then keeping the elbow up and in um, flex off that elbow straight up and that's a really important thing to note because what happens you'll see people kick the elbow out and then what happens is they're putting more on their um, more on their front delt and their pec and they'll be like oh my pec's tight from doing rollbacks i didn't feel it my triceps well you got to keep the tension on the triceps and also if you drop the elbow now you're just turning it more into a press so keeping that elbow pulled in and up I can feel it right here with no dumbbell I can feel that part of the tricep flexing all right so dumbbell rollbacks so elbows out extension so that's where you take the dumbbells like this and then just pull them apart same thing keep the elbows straight out to the side don't let them drop, don't let them come down in. Um, that's another great builder. Then tape press, it's sim tape press is very similar to um, the elbows out. Difference is you're here and you keep the dumbbell heads together. So you're here, elbows out and up, keeping the dumbbells together, just rolling them apart. And then another one, it's a great tricep builder that I'd use sparingly. This would be like in the special exercises that you use sometimes when you just want to get a little more attention on the tricep. All right, dumbbell rollbacks uh, with a mini or monster band. So put a dump or put a band in your hand, wrap around your upper back so it's running right across the back of your arm, grab dumbbells, and then do your extensions that way. All right, we all know bands get more tension as they increase, as they stretch out. So as you're getting into that locking point, you can actually increase the tension just on that. All right, barbell, tricep extensions, just basic old school tricep extensions, nothing but the thing I see people not doing when they're doing barbell tricep extensions, it's like they put like 10 pounds on each side. Like, no, go heavy. I've seen people use three, 400 pounds on tricep extensions. Just same thing, elbows uh, up and in and just go heavy. Work these into sets of eight to 15, but you should be able to push the weight on those. Uh, JM press, take the bar down, let it flow back a little bit, and then just think about flexing right off that elbow. Um, so a half press for a spotto press, just going down and stopping one to two inches off the chest and reversing the motion um, in a fast motion. It's just, that's a lot harder than I think people realize to reverse it without touching the chest. Then board press, 
Um, board press, I love being in the probably in the five to 10 range, sometimes working up to a heavy triple. And the great thing about the boards is you can sort of find where your weak point is and work off that. So for me, my three board was higher or lower. I used my max on a three board was lower than a two board, which was lower than my one board, right? So that my one board was the highest board press I had. So that meant I constantly needed to build my triceps, right? Build the triceps up. Like I said, sets of five, eight, up to 15 on board press, one to three sets, um, pretty, pretty good. Body weight, this is for people running like a pretty minimal program, but also exercises that you shouldn't completely neglect. Push-ups, I, I mean, I've seen super heavyweights do sets of 20 with bands wrapped around them, so push-ups are great because they teach you to push yourself away from the bar. People think about bench press, they think about lifting the bar up. The really good bench pressers, when you watch them, they think about pushing down away from the bar. All right, so pushing yourself away from the bar. Dips, you should be able to do dips. Um, if you have a shoulder injury, I guess you get a, a pass, but you should still be able to do some dips. Um, body weight. Tricep extensions, so you can do these, set a bench up on an incline, grab the top of the bench, lean into it like a 45 degree angle, drop down, and then flex off that elbow. And then um, dip lockouts, these are actually a pretty cool exercise. Um, you can do these for higher reps, get set up in a dip bar, and get it just about halfway up and just, just do the lockout part, so just here. So just that real short motion, um, that's a great tricep builder. So these, these are some really good bench builders for the triceps. Again, the triceps are the most important thing for locking out a big bench press. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them below or feel free to email me, nick at